let's talk about the clearance interval. And again, clearance interval is the amount of all red. And the way we determine the amount of all red is by looking at the width of the intersection or the longest path through the intersection. So the clearance interval is based on time. And basically what we're doing is we're saying that uh, R is equal to distance. Um, <clears throat> divided by speed. So this is time is equal to distance divided by speed. And the distance is given as either W or P. If you have a pedestrian crossing, our distance is going to be slightly longer because the rear of your vehicle, the rear of this car, is going to have a slightly longer path to get to the far side of the pedestrian crosswalk. Likewise, if you're going straight through the intersection, the vehicle would need to get to the far side of the crosswalk. If there is no pedestrian accommodation, and in many rural areas you won't have a crosswalk, but you'll still have a traffic signal, then we're simply measuring the distance that the vehicle needs to travel as from the, the rear of the vehicle to the far end of the traveled way. So there's two different ways that we can compute the distance. So the purpose of the clearance interval is to enable drivers to enter the intersection who enter the intersection just as the signal has turned red to continue traveling through the intersection and clear it before the next phase starts and vehicles on conflicting paths start entering the intersection. What uh, also is included in the equation is the length of the vehicle and that is typically given as L or 20 feet. I'm not seeing the equation. Here it is. The equation is 1-35 if we're talking about the width of the intersection with no pedestrians or it's equation 1-36 if we're measuring the P distance to the far side of the um, edge of the, the through roadway. And we both come up with the same answer which is R. Uh, L is the length of the vehicle, typically considered to be 20 feet. The speed of the vehicle through the intersection must be given in feet per second. So uh, our standard equation does not include the 1.47 uppercase V, but I just want to call your attention to the fact that um, the speed of the vehicle through the intersection is in feet per second. So if you're given your V in MPH, you must multiply by 1.47 in order to um, have it in the correct format. Everybody, make, everybody follow me on that? <clears throat>